John, I just checked out this totally cool website. It was really, really juicy and all sorts of wacky stuff on it. Um, I'm safe because I was using Chrome, right? They can't get to me. Uh, did you update today? Oh, damn. It's Friday, September 19th, and this is IT Sparkcast CDE of the Week, where we tell you about a common vulnerability and exposure entry that you need to know about and how to mitigate ASAP. And today Please. we're talking about the newest uh, zero-day vulnerability found in Chrome, and you better upgrade ASAP. Let me tell you. So while we were sitting down to record this episode, my browser, I went and checked the, the version on it, and it popped and updated. Yep. So it hasn't even hit the push yet as of this recording, uh, which is very close to when you're watching this. So what's going on here? This is CVE 2025-10585. It's an active V8 exploit that threatens millions. Everybody out there, 70% of the market is threatened by this. What is V8? V8 is the browser engine that Google kind of forked from web WebKit and then took it in an entirely different direction. It's unique to the Chrome uh, Kit, and it is a con type confusion issue in Chrome's V8 JavaScript and WebAssembly engine. So type confusion can lead to unexpected behavior, including arbitrary code execution. So why it's, this is serious because this vulnerability is already being exploited in the wild, meaning attackers are using it before many users have had a chance to patch. We got that from the Hacker News. It's one of the multiple Chrome zero days this year. This is number six on zero days. What does this mean that Chrome is terrible? I don't know. It does mean that somebody has found a new window to a new type of exploit and they're pushing deeper into the actual web rendering engine than they previously had. So this is a bad one and you need to upgrade right now. It, and update Chrome to version uh, 140.0.7339.185 or .186 for Windows and Mac OS. And if you're a pervert like me that runs Linux, it's uh, .185 for Linux. Um, if you're using any other Chromium-based browsers, uh, Edge, Brave, Opera, Vivaldi, whatever, check for patches. They might be lagging a little, but they won't be lagging by much. This one's a big one. So that's it, but short and sweet, but oh my God, there's nothing sweet about this. All right, so that is gonna wrap up this episode, but I do wanna uh, read a bit of a interesting feed of feedback we got on our last CDE of the week. On YouTube, Killer Monkey Records wrote a fairly cryptic message. And I, I'm trying to interpret it a bit. I actually ran it through ChatGPT, I think, English was not their first language. And what I got out of it was that there is a stealthy and dangerous threat, like a beacon in the dark that uses fileless malware with a cough loader, C-O-F-F, -F, all caps, running directly in memory and pulls its code from a remote HTTPS source. So I'm trying to figure out if they were just playing with us or they were trying to give us a message and whether it was a stealth message or, or what it was. But I thought it was interesting. And I would like, if you're listening, Killer Monkey Records, to actually come back and give us a little bit more information. We did drop a note to them asking for more details, but we would like to hear from them. So and can I can I say one thing in this? Yes. While this thing, if if this individual is equating what this particular attack does to what we were talking about with prompt locker. What's different is, yes, your system can go out. Viruses that have gone and retrieved exploits from external websites are not new. Right. Actually generating a custom script exploit for the host you're on, that's new. Correct, correct. So we were talking about prompt locker and it being a potential threat later on where prompt locker actually is not much of a threat, but where in the future AI uh generated malicious code could go out and do all kinds of bad things he's saying that that's not the most dangerous thing out there uh that they're saying that there are threat out there that could be fileless ma malware that uses the 
common object file format to run in memory and might be able to go out and get URLs and do malicious things. We're assuming that that's what he meant, but we do want to hear back from him to see if he's got more information. We want to hear from you. What did you think about last week's episode with Prop Locker? What are you thinking about the, this, this Chrome? This was the sixth zero day vulnerability found this year on Chrome. So something's going on with that. We need to hear more. It is good that they're finding it and they're patching it and they're forcing those patches out, but there is a lot going on with Chrome this year. But that is going to cover this episode. We could do this podcast without listeners like you. We want to hear what you think. Send email to feedback at itsparkcast.com. Hit us up on X at itsparkcast. Or if you're on YouTube, just like Killer Monkey, leave a message down below. We do read every single piece of feedback and every comment that we get. We do respond to most. And if it's particularly insightful or weird, we will read it out on our broadcast and try to get more information on it. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That way you never miss an episode. That really also helps us grow. So with that, from the world of enterprise IT security, take care. Stay safe out there, okay?